link it with something that we mentioned last week, which was the distinction between knowledge and faith. So you may have knowledge of something, you think you have faith, you actually don't have faith. Faith is not a ritual. Faith is not a logical conclusion that your mind automatically makes. That's not faith. Faith is being 100% sure that when I'm putting my foot on the ground to get up, the ground is there. I have faith that the ground is there. It's not a logical thing. Yeah, logically I can think, you know, gravity has been here so long, so it should be there for the next second too. But actually I have faith, I have to make that jump, and therefore it will be there when I'm going to make them the next step. Is you build your life around something because you have a certainty that it's there. And certainty is not equivalent to knowledge. I have knowledge that if I smoke it's bad for my health. But I don't really have faith that it's going to affect my health because I'm not sick and I don't feel anything. And that's why you see Imam Ali, for instance, when he describes al muttaqin the way he says, the way he describes them is different. They have faith. I have knowledge that there is heaven and hell. You know, when I have knowledge that there is fire and I have faith that there is fire, when I put my hand in the fire and I feel the heat, that's faith. This is, it's there. I have knowledge, and we'll talk about that in the next lessons, the types of knowledge. We have knowledge that there is hell and that there is heaven. So if that's what you're referring to as faith, I don't know. Faith cannot be just knowledge. Imam Ali alayhi salam, when he describes the pious, he says they have seen it or they are in it. They are in heaven right now or they are in hell right now. And that's why they behave the way they do. Which is different than someone who has a <coughs> theoretical knowledge of something. I have a theoretical knowledge that God is there. But when I'm alone, I can still do the sin. Okay, well then you don't really believe God is there seeing you. Or maybe you're completely distracted and you've forgotten. But the reality is you have no faith. You have a logical knowledge. You can't argue with your mind's knowledge or logic that it's there, that God is seeing you. But you don't have faith. And that's why in one of our narrations, we have, they ask the Imam, they tell him, how can a believer, a faithful, perform a sin? And this is a very deep answer that Imam gives, and it can be looked at from multiple angles. But it's a couple of words. He says, the believer performs the sin when he is not a believer. Or the faithful performs the sin when he's not faithful. He's not faithful in that instant. So now you interpret that. What does it mean? Does it mean that faith has been removed? Does it mean that he wasn't faithful in that second? That he got distracted? That he will not be treated by God if he were to die of that same second that he's performing the sin? He would not be treated as a faithful? All of these are good interpretations and there are others. But this is a distinction between knowledge and faith.